The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of a supposed ET that was presented to the Mexican Congress this past week on Monday. And uh, there were two of them there. I guess it was a husband and wife. I'm not sure. They were 1,800 years old. They had uh, DNA along with it and everything like that. You won't find anything in the media about it except if you go on the Internet, and there's quite a bit about that. I bring this to your attention for one particular reason. One of the very premier archaeologists here in the United States of America. He has several PhDs in archaeology, okay? And he was one of the people that they asked to look at it, and he said, well, he said, it may be and it may not be. He said, but the problem that I have is it just doesn't look human enough. And I said to myself, this has answered a question that I've been trying to answer since 1985, I now know who is dating my ex-wife. I mean, this this thing is just doesn't look human enough for me either. Let me tell you. Are you kidding me? Give me a break. Oh, I don't know. I, my my grandson, he, he's 23 years old now. I saved for 20 years to get that kid through college. He had enough to go wherever he wanted. He got a scholarship. Uh, and he got a scholarship at Stanford. He went the first year. At the end of the first year, he came back uh, in, uh, when was it, June? Where, June when he got out of school. And he called me up and he said, how angry will you be with me if I don't go back to college? I said, I'm not going to be angry with you at all. He said, I'll send you back all the gold coins. I said, I don't want that. I said, I want you to be happy. He said, I'm going to be happy. So he is happy, but he didn't go back to college. And I asked him why. He said, these guys that are teaching me this stuff are full of baloney. He said, I'm not he said, I'm not stupid, but to try this stuff they're putting across on me, he said, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not saying anything against Stanford or anything, but when you hear comments like this, I don't know. Frankly, when I saw this, I thought it would be on every single paper in the world, almost like uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall back in 89. Okay. Uh-oh, something went wrong here. What happened here? I must be in big trouble. Oh, we've got a caller calling in from Wyoming. Larry, how are you? Well, I'm doing fine. I, I tried to get in before uh, E.T. arrived. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing living the dream. Yeah. Well, Larry, I wrote you a note because my question is so I don't understand futures enough how they – how they calendar, uh, how they how they list them. They I, over, yes. I follow your euro slash USD. It's exact numbers, but when mm -hmm. I go to, I didn't want to place a trade because it said spot. When I looked at the data behind it with the numbers, it wasn't anything I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So I searched around and came up with slash six e, you know, twenty three, and that yes. looked more like a normal future with different calendar dates and that's volumes. the one you want. That's so correct. I don't, I wouldn't have known which to do or, or what would have happened if I would have entered some buy on euro slash well, USD then it's best, <laughs> That's the my best that you did the best that you did enter but mm -hmm. let me explain to you the futures started trading Forex in 1982 mm -hmm. pretty much the same time that we started trading the S&P but the futures for the uh, for the foreign exchange was much much more popular than the S&P a futures is an actual contract between two people for delivery within a certain date if there's there's four mm -hmm. months you got March uh, June uh, September March March June uh, September and December four mo uh, three months apart and uh, they go by expiration, but it's a valid contract between two people. If you're doing a Forex contract, it's between you and the bank, you know, and one of the parties may not, uh, you know, it's it's not a binding contract. It's just a buy or sell. Do you see the difference? But the prices of the price of the futures are going to be very, very close to the price of what you're trying to trade with the exception of the carrying charges that are involved. 
I hope that helps explain that, Larry. You might go to the uh, foreign exchange part of the CME, and they have a video describing this. You know, okay. a training video. But my question Do that. was: We were correct. We were going to trade euro slash USD from the bank. Is that what you're saying? That's what I do. Yes, I trade the bank. It went okay. within ten pips of the exact number we were looking at, if you remember. And now it's rallied about oh six or seven hundred dollars. Whether this is a major bottom or not, I'm not sure. But at least it started in the right direction. Okay. One quick question, Larry. I'd yes. have been okay if I chose to trade slash six E, the regular looking Absolutely. futures. Absolutely. Absolutely. You would have been okay. you would have been easily safe and it's the commission's the same and it's fact okay. it's actually safer to trade the futures than the Forex because it's an actual contract. Whereas the Forex is just it's acting as a bank like you wanted to buy a stock and they don't deliver it. It's the same type of thing. Wow. Okay. I didn't know any of those. Okay, I'm glad I called. I, I, I okay. thank you so much. Well, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, Larry, believe it or not, I have seen a UFO. It was in 1977. Twentyman and I had been coming back from Vegas because he liked to play blackjack and the tournaments over there. So we played on a tournament uh, on Thursday. We got back for Friday morning. and It was about 2 in the morning on our way back. And we were in Barstow, California. And we looked out and Twentyman says, what's that? And I looked over there and I saw this big black cigar shaped object uh, elliptical and it had red and green lights going around it and it was about a football field away and it was huge it was bigger than a bigger than a big airplane and we just watched it for a minute and then all of a sudden it just shot up into the sky no noise no air no nothing just shot up into the sky and he looked at me and he said we better go and we went to the Baker uh, excuse me the Barstow uh, California State Police to tell them what we had seen. He says, get out of here. He said, they're here all the time, is what he told us. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We're going to take a break here in just a few minutes. Our, our guest at the break is going to be um, Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. But we've got some charts that I want to uh, go through with you because of things that we did yesterday while we were on the program here. So, oh, now what I've got to do here. Oh, I got trouble in River City. Now, where are my charts for the old? Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. I hope, um, let me see. Uh, Al, let me know if my uh, if my charts are showing. Uh, please, uh, if you tell me. Good, 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 good. I'll, I just got to come back here, take a quick look at them. All right. Let's start out here with the bonds. Well, let's do the, let's do the E-mini first. There's the big ABCD we were looking at last night, 45.59. You see, we've given up. Everything in the last three days in just a matter of 13th, 14th, 15th, we've given it all up. You see here, uh, and folks, this is a start of, this is a, this is a, this B, C, this is B, C leg. Your C, D leg is way down here. It's going to challenge at 44, 35. It won't be doing it today, I don't think, but if it does, look out. That's going to be a pretty nasty one. In fact, is I'll, I'll show you what that means here. If you're looking at this A, B, C, D, you know, your 1.618 on this comes on here at 44.12. That will destroy the old 618 retracement at 44.35 and send us going down a lot more. So the fact that it gives it up this much, this fast, is not good. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, on a side comment, uh, when I joke about my uh, ex-wife, uh, I was still friends with her. And, I mean, she is not the Wicked Witch of the West or anything like that. Uh, we went along, We got along pretty good for the first 25 years. And then in 1984, uh, she, had, uh, she was a born-again Christian, and she had this uh, thing uh, that happened to her that uh, I, I don't know what it was called. Well, I, I can't remember what it was called. But my daughters came running down to my office and say, you've got to run. Something's wrong with mother. The door was locked. And uh, she was going through convulsions and just uh, just in some type of a uh, just like fury or something like that. It was terrible. She went through uh, uh, some type of a transformation. And I don't know what they call it. The Christians have a word for it. But anyway, that's what she went through. She was never the same after that. She just literally uh, would do nothing. But well, she still worked, but she prayed most of the time. And I, I don't want to go into the whole thing, but that's what happened. And uh, anyway, a few years later, of course, she realized that I was the instrument of the devil and decided we should probably uh, get divorced. And I said, why did it take you 35 years to find out I was the instrument of the devil? You should have figured that out in the first couple of days. Anyway, let's move on to what we're looking at. I've got the chart here, the euro that we talked about yesterday. We had our friend uh, from Pedro, Pedro from Park City. And you'll notice the big ABCD pattern that we have here. You see the AB leg was 11 days down the CD legs was 11 days down it measured to this level right here you can see this little red dot that we had marked uh, that was within 10 pips of the, of the exact bottom and of course uh, uh, Pedro was going to buy it there which seemed to be the right thing to do it's now rallied about $800 so far uh, whether this is a big move or not I have no clue but you know what folks Nobody else does either. That's the main thing. That was one of the things that we were watching yesterday when we were following some of these uh, charts here. Now, I wanted to, to just get off the beaten track a little bit because, you know, we got beaten up in crude oil. 
yesterday. And uh, I'd be up. We took a loss of uh, $800. But I just wanted to show you the. Oh, no, I've lost it. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, that takes care of that. Hold on. Let me get back up here to get the uh, charts back up so I can see it. I might be able to pull it up here, but it's been so doggone active that I'm not sure that I'm able to. But let's get this crude oil up here because this is what I'm watching right now. Here is the crude oil. But I want to show you last night what happened. I'm going to get into a little bit larger, okay? Now, here, here was the big top right here. Now, remember, I always say – Always look for the first 382 retracement, okay? Now, I, I happen to be up at this time. This happened to be right around 1 o'clock in the morning. And from the high to your low, you see you went exactly to the 382 right there, okay? Now, let's say you missed that one. Then it came, and this one's even better because this one has an ABCD. So we're going to clear that out, and we're going to draw the ABCD in so you'll be able to see it. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. Little tiny bit above the 382. You see it's about uh, 10 pips. But look at this, folks. It drops from 9068 all the way down to here, 8920. Folks, that's $1,500. Now, why did it stop right there? I asked myself that this morning. And all I had to do was just go to an hourly chart and look where it stopped, folks. If you have no belief in 382, this should make you a believer because look where it stopped. To the exact tick, 89.24, the exact 3.82. And if you go from your last low to this one right here, there's your 61 came in at 39, and the uh, 89.39, and the 3.82 came in 88.24. And look, we went up and we touched the old high after that. Just truly really amazing the volatility that we're seeing here in the crude oil today. Okay, that's another one that we're looking at. And, of course, the dollar index is moving around quite a bit. The one that surprised – well, look at this S&P. This one doesn't have any friends, folks. We're going to be looking at a big, big, big move down coming on Mon Monday or Tuesday, folks. Look at this. This thing's already breaking. We've given up. We've, we're going to be – look at this, folks. We are going to be taking out these lows today. Look at that. This is not a good sign. Shut the front door and raise the rent. This is very, very negative. I've been saying all along, see, there's where we were. Here's where we were before. And remember, back here, where is that? Oh, they switched over from the contract. See, this one, this is the one that's really important, okay? This is it's a 4040. That is equivalent to the 61% retracement of this move right here. Remember that? We knew that bottom was in when that came in. There there was the bottom right here. We're just about ready to take that out. And you know where we're going. There it is, 4410. Do you think that's very far? That's almost as far as it is so far today, folks. This is where we're going to be trading sometime here uh, on Monday, 4410. That's a 1.618 expansion. And we look at there, it is 4410 uh, will be right here. And we take this one out, uh-oh. And if we take this one out, you're going to be looking at something a whole lot more serious. Let's move to the uh, – I can do this because this is all of it together now. There's your large one. Uh, see, here's the one. This I thought this Venus Uranus was going to be a negative, folks. It wasn't. It didn't work. Well, shut the front door and raise the rent. But now you see where we are. There's the big high up there on August or July 28th. Boy, that was a, that was a day that um, – uh, what his name was born, uh, Elliot, Ralph Elliot. Okay, now that's the case. What we're looking at here, I know it's hard to believe, but let's get this up here to take a quick look at it. There's your A leg right there. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. There's your D leg. And that takes you to 4307. That's 200 handles from where we are right now, folks. Once we take out this, this is where we're going, 4307. And that's going to be the September bottom that we've been waiting to see that would be a good buy. So I hope that helps. This is the Ensign map. It doesn't uh, – I don't know why I put it in here. I mean, it, it was – if I hit the the M, it will just automatically put it up, but it doesn't uh, – don't use it too much. Okay. Those are the ones that we're watching so far. We've got Bartoleone coming up next. We'll take a look at – quickly look here at the Treasury bonds. Those of you that like 382, and I certainly do, there was a 382 yesterday. Right there early this morning, uh, midnight, uh, bingo, right on New York time, bingo. Uh, it was missed it by, let's see how far it missed it by, 
<laughs> this is my one pip, folks, of being, and I might even have drawn this wrong, but there's your six, uh, 382 right here, and of course, that's going to lead to uh, A, B, C, D. Regarding that ET, folks, there was one other thing that was involved with that ET that they didn't bring out too much, but in part of the words, if you read some of the internet stuff that's out there, they found a bunch of jewelry and stuff that these, uh, evidently, these mummified folks would wear around, and one of them was a belt buckle. Like a you know like a belt buckle for a fanny pack, and on that belt buckle you're not going to believe what it said. You can't make this up. Are you ready? A B equals C D. Right from an E T, eighteen hundred years ago, folks. You just can't make it up. I mean, I saw that and I said, "Holy moly, guacamole!" I knew I was on the right path all along. And now I better take the rest of my medication and get ready to hear my good friend Jim Bartoglione talk to us about some pretty cool stuff that he's been working on. So stay tuned, boys and girls. The medication's kicking in, and we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we have our main man in the house. Number 50, Jim Bartoglione. Hi, Jim. 
Hey, Larry, how are you? You're looking good, man. You got your Navy stuff on. That's cool. We out surfing today? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, actually, um, I was just looking at the waves I caught when uh, when I called, when you guys called me. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, really there's nice about four or five of us, Larry. We get up. Uh, we're in the water at 6 a.m. It was actually dark this morning when we were in the water. It was it's so on, much fun. So, you know, at the nonprofit, now? right? Excuse me. <clears throat> and we take um, vets down to Punta Mita, Mexico, and teach them how to surf or get better surfing. Got another retreat coming up in November. We have eight special warfare guys, uh, two fighter wow. pilots, and one um, yeah, that's great. combat infantryman. And we're down there for a week. It's awesome. So, yeah, I love surfing. It's the best yeah. thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot, Jim. I thought that I was. Doggone it. That Actually, you are, Larry. <laughs> Get out of here. Hey, Jim, is that is that place near Rosarita Beach that you're going to in Mexico? You know it's it, it, you know where Puerto Vallarta is, PVR? Oh, my Way God. That's, in, that's, that's the Beverly Hills of uh, Mexico. Yeah, it's far, far oh, away. Is? Yeah. Okay. Well, so we go into PVR, and there's that big bay. By the way, we had a surface warfare officer last retreat. He said it's the biggest bay in the world. Really? Uh, wow. He drove ships for a living. I drove planes, right? I don't know. But um, it's pretty big. So, yeah. we And so, Puerto Vallarta is the bay. You go up to the northern side of the bay and go all the way west. We're right at the tip. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's beautiful. It's a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful part of Mexico, for sure. Oh, no, You no, got no. a chart. So, you see the charts get... okay, Larry? Oh, we used to, people are screaming at me, say, stop talking uh, real estate and talk about the E-Mini. He looks, he had a, had a spot on. Gartley up there looks like a three drive too. Tell us what you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, you know, so I put this chart up here. I actually posted this last night on my blog. Um, the key that I want to show our readers and everything like that is from the high, what's that, 4634? You know, we went down 283.75 points. Um, I think I think you're the one who taught me, but ultimately, um, decimal points really don't mean much in our life, right? The numbers are putting off a frequency. Uh, so if we just move the decimal point to the left, we get 28.4, 28.3. Um, and so we did a square out, the bottom line. So when we had this pattern completing, uh, I felt pretty good at putting a short on last night. It was either going to explode over it, right, like a mm -hmm. massively fail it or or it would work. And, and right now it kind of seems like it's working. But that square out in like, time you should and be at price, your break even. You should be at your break even point now because it's only down 70 handles. So I think you're okay. <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it, Larry? Yeah. I mean, literally, I'm just looking at it. I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm wondering if it'll square out that, you know, that swing from 46.34 to 43.50. Sure enough. Yeah. And so I took the date of today. I went back 28 days and it was the low. I'm like, we're squaring out. This thing's got a short tomorrow. So anyway, that's pretty good. And then the measured moves, right? I mean, look at yep. them. Everything's harmonic. Uh, it went right up in that area and uh, and it dumped. So um it's really important. The reason I want to say that is this high at 46.34, that's a really important high. Um, I'm calling it either a wave two or a B wave and that whole LA wave stuff. So we had that move down into 43.50. So I'm calling that a wave one. So this wave needed to end uh, or that whole thing was gone, right? So that's why I was like, this thing's either going to work or not. And when we saw a square out coming, I'm like, you know what? This is looking pretty good. So, so yeah, there's the ES. I think, uh, wow. I think we're going down for a while, Larry. I do, but okay. um, well, we'll see. Started in the right direction. Oh, here's yeah, one really. Right? Yeah, this um, is a... And you know, we I think we posted this the last time we were talking. I got a massive support around 100. Um, I'm still not exactly sure. Um, you know, whether it'll get down there. I could also see 110. But I really like 100 on the long bond. And and then, you know, we talked about it the last time. I'm calling this wave one down <laughs> or yeah. A, whatever, yeah. you know, all this LA wave crap. Yeah. But the bottom line, it does help me with a roadmap. And so what I'm trying to tell people is, man, I, I don't see interest rates going down maybe for my lifetime or your lifetime, right? I mean, it's, this well, it, is a- It better be yours uh, because I can see the ninth furlong pole from where I'm sitting. So <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're gonna live a long time, my friend. Hey, Jim, oh, me hey, too, my friend. But I'm, I'm, you, I'm living yeah. right now, man. I was living on those waves. That's what I should have done is a picture of me on the waves. But um, so where I'm going with this, Larry, is everybody and their brother, all the talking head pundits, all those people are like, oh, the Fed's easing or not gonna blah, blah, blah. This bounce in bonds, because that's all it is, I think it's going to be huge. I think it's going to be a massive move. So I'll probably close my um, TBT uh, long that I've been long and go long TLT, because I bet you this puppy goes to 150 or 160. 
I, you know, just be, just everyone thinks, oh, the Fed, we thought, okay, they've raised their rates. I'm not seeing that. I think rates are going up, at least for the next yeah. 10 years. Um, and this is just the first wave down in the bonds. So, yeah. uh, but this is some pretty significant uh, support right around 100. I don't know if 110 will hold it. I'd imagine it'll bounce it, but we'll see. So, and what I'm doing with the 110, you see those purple lines? That's that first wave down is equal to the last wave down. So that 110, that could be a good target, but I'm leaning towards the hundreds. You see anything different? No, no, I like I like that purple line. That's a beauty because you got a whole bunch of stuff in between that. And yeah. when, when I look at this chart, though, and I see the top up there, Jim, do you remember they were trying to feed us negative interest rates at that time? I mean, I to me, that was yeah. the yeah. dumbest thing yeah. I've ever heard in all of my investing. I mean, that's I just... I remember when you were writing the letter yeah. that way. Like, yeah, I okay. said, uh, we're going to give you a deal oh, here. We're going to give you zero interest rates. We're going to charge you for holding your money, but we're not going to give you any guarantee that you can get us back. Now, give us as much as you can. And they were standing in line to give it to them. Oh, I mean, give me crazy. a break. I mean, And, and I you know, know what else is great, Larry, is I'm starting to look at all these really famous TV shows and movies, and I'm like, I think they're telling the future. It literally is the Wizard of Oz. Oh, some of them, There's yeah. The man that's behind for sure. the curtain. <laughs> yeah, that's for but, sure. Um, it's, yeah. Another one for all of us, Larry's Apple, right? As Apple goes, yeah. the market goes. I don't know if you remember, but, you know, the top of the circle, do you remember that chart? It went yes. right up. Yeah, I remember, sure, yeah. 195, <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I have no idea why this stuff works, but anyway. Uh, so we've got an incredible ABCD. I mean, it, it's setting itself up for a beautiful buy at about 164. So it's either going to work or it's not. You know what I mean? And yeah, so it's starting I think in the right direction. That's the main thing. Yeah. Life. I'm sorry. What was that? I stepped on you. It starts in the right direction. That's for sure. That's right. Yeah. Um, but look at it, Larry. I mean, that is the level. Um, if we break break through that, then I don't see this market standing on firm ground. But you never know. But um, hey, Jim, look at the I got a question. Moves. I have a question about your your picture book that you're going to be publishing here. When will yes. it be ready? Because people have already started asking, how do they get it? Oh and my gosh, that's it's amazing. Going to be um, you know, I'm still working on it. From a, um, I, I'd say probably in about, let's just say by the end of the year, just to just to be realistic. Um, okay. I wanted you to take a look at it. I still owe you money for printing everything. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I Maybe that's steak dinner. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I'm tightening up some things. I've gotten some feedback. But thank you. Um, I think it, I think it'll be really um, eye-opening for people. And like, I mean, the bottom short. line, Larry, is you taught me. I just took it, you know, oh, and, and you, made it mine, you, like you me. said. So, you mean, you, but, you know, um, I but the other reason that I like this 164, Larry, is look at that uh, those blue measured moves. This is yeah. going to be the key level, I think. Yeah. So the book is going to be basically the picture of just like what we're looking at here, all the different That's things right. that you look at That's right. and describing and what you're doing. some feedback to do a little yeah. bit of explanation. Um, so that's kind of what I'm working on now. It's not okay. meant to be a, a technical book that you have to read. It's, it's pictures, yeah. right? Because that's what we yeah. do. But yeah. I'm going to spend a little bit of time saying, hey, here's what you're looking at on these charts. So I don't okay. confuse people. Hey, we got to pay a few bills. Can you stay with us, please? Pay them up. You got it. Yes, sir. We'll be right back, folks. Jim Bartlione, Bart's Charts. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hey, we're back, folks, speaking with Jim Bartleone, and we've got junk bonds up board. That's one bearish looking chart Woo. isn't it crazy yeah so i've been watching this larry if you look I, I think it was the end of 2022 is when it found some support and it's been coiling all year i don't know which way it's going to go i think it should go down but as far as risk goes yeah. this market will blow higher or blow lower when that well, that's if we're going higher itself. pretty slim look at the <laughs> lower tops this is not a this is not a very good uh not no, a very good chart. It's not. And, and so I've just been, I think we've been showing this chart a couple times, but we got to watch it. Watch junk bonds. And ultimately, I really think it's going to blow. Look at it. It's coiling. It's getting ready yeah. to go. But if it, it sure goes is. lower and then we get a close below that, you know, long red tread line from about 2009, things could get pretty ugly because that, that, that means they've yeah. thrown in the towel. But it's, hold, it's been holding in there. And, and it's kind of funny. You can feel the market holding in there also. But something's given. I don't know what, but um, that's going to be my first cue. We get a monthly or a weekly close below that, um, you know, uh, red trend line. It's never closed below there in the history of it. Um, yeah. I think things are probably going to go on the other side of the good other scale. <laughs> yeah. You know, the junk bonds have some uh, uh, implications with the oil market because these up and coming. Oh, really? You know, really? they, I never they're looked really, at that. yeah, that they they really do. So break down in junk bonds. What's about the correlation, the, Larry? I, I, I'm uh, interested. The, evidently, the, from what I understand, we should have uh, I have I'll have uh, Mike Moore get on to us. And but it's basically yeah. when they start uh, oil rigs and all this stuff, they can't get money from banks, so they go to the junk bond market to get it. And as long as no the rigs key. come in wow. and oil pumps, it's okay. But you know, if they can't, then uh, that uh, the banks are in trouble. And of course, wow. a lot of these regional yeah. wow, banks do a lot of that. Know that. So now of, we've got yeah, double that, importance. Yeah. <laughs> a time out here, boys and girls. I want to make a, 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 a little a cautionary comment. That is borders on fundamentals. And I know less about fundamentals than I do about uh, women's soccer. So I'll end it with that. Go ahead, Jimmy. You could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, got to throw it up here, right? Yeah. 10 year interest rates. Yeah. I mean, I have a target of 6.3. I mean, it sounds yeah. insane. Um, I do think we're going a little bit higher, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them pause around five-ish. But, I mean, look at it. This thing is gone. And then if you look back at, like, 1984, 
that solid blue line, it was the largest correction, right? In, in a 40 year downtrend in interest okay. rates. We've completed that, we pulled back a little bit. Now it looks like we're gonna exceed it. So the next one could be 127, right? That'll take you up to about five, five oh. Uh, but a 1.618, it takes you up to the 3.82. Um, I don't see okay. that right now, but I do think we'll we'll see that in our lifetime for sure. But yeah, look at this thing. It, it's um, and and oh by the way, I see this as a fifth wave um, in the the first wave up or a wave or whatever the hell you want to call it. So I do think the interest rates will pause and 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 pull back a little bit. But is that 5.0 or 6.0? I don't know. But man, look at that thing. It's incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. sure um, is. Remember when we did oh, the ABCD here. on, on NVIDIA? Yep, I sure do. <laughs> uh, it kind of worked. And uh, it yeah. actually went a little higher. And it tagged exactly the 1.618 extension from the last high. Which still, let's talk about it, Larry, right? This is this insane... Um, you know, a parabolic move that's exploding and AI is the future, which it is, but all this different stuff. And it went right to the 1.618 and the ABCD. Isn't that incredible? But here's yeah. where I'm going with it. I did a rudimentary count, which I like. It's a theory or it's a guideline. It's not a rule that the market likes to correct to the fourth wave of a lesser degree. That's $120, Larry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, that's nothing. In a five hundred dollar right? stock, we're at four hundred and forty now. Yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> and that could still Holy be bullish. God. So honestly, I'm sure. looking to buy Nvidia, but I'm not touching it for a while. But it worked. Um, but I'm I'm seeing Nvidia going higher, but not in the immediate future at all. So um, I'll be looking to buy it. But man, it could go all the way down into the hundreds. Hey Jim, did you ever no, use any crazy. AI? Did you ever use any AI stuff while you were doing your Navy intelligence stuff? Um, we did. Uh, we did a lot. And, and what's really fascinating is right now we've been using what are called large language models, that chat GBT, all that different stuff. I hate to say it, that's already out of date. Um, where AI is moving now, if, some, if you guys, you know, people on the show want to um, take some notes and stuff, is what's called active inference. Um, and those are the models that are coming out now that are really going to revolutionize everything. Um, right now it's like a queuing, you know, it's a one on one conversation. Um, active inference is it's going to infer what you're asking and then you never have to ask it another question. It's going to go learn everything. It's, it's pretty powerful. And then the, the next thing too is it, write this one down, is the spatial web. That is, I, I mean, Larry, in the next five years, the technological advancements are going to be incredible. They really are. Yeah. But um, this chart, I, I, I'm bullish, but not right now. So, and then I think I got one more for us. Yeah, this puppy. Um, so, when you look at intermarket technical analysis, we had to learn this from the CMT and, um, you know, it's all everything. It, it's a global economy. Usually the first one to, to, to crack or to go up is the Shanghai, right? That leads them all. And so you can see it's looking pretty heavy. So if we break that low, that upper, you know, lower um, kind of less font blue trend line, things aren't looking good. Uh, boy, we break that more bolded one. Um, things aren't looking good at all. But the Shanghai goes. Then the Australian All Ordinaries, then the Canadian uh, TSX, then the DAX, then the S and P. Now I'm not saying it's years or anything like that, but we can get clues by Shanghai. Shanghai, yeah. if you look at it, it should be air quote should be going down, which I think globally is going to put pressure on all the indices. And so I'm watching this trend line, and again, it's like junk bonds, right? Um, I'm just seeing which way it's going to break. Certainly looks like it's going to want to go low. So. So keep an eye on Shanghai too. A lot of fun, huh? Yeah. Hey Jim, I remember I remember when you passed your CMT and I went to New York with Sarah for your uh, uh, and I gave a speech at the CMT that time. Do you remember right. that? That's about That's 10, right. 12, 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, How long ago was that? You know what's funny is we're talking about all these harmony harmonics and everything, and they all looked at us like we had three eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I took the test, but once I went past A, B equals C, D, I was zero for zero, so I had to stop taking it. So, well, You know, I used to I, teach CMTI, Larry, right? Yeah, and I'd be yeah. asked to teach all this stuff about RSI and everything. I'm like, hey, guys, look, I, I think you got to learn this. I don't use it. I don't understand yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Hey, listen, no, okay. Thanks, thanks for joining us, buddy. I really oh, appreciate great, it. We'll have you on again in a few weeks. And and keep up the good work. And, you guys are awesome. And let us know, let us know on the book, too. As soon as I will, I know sir. You, we thanks, can sell buddy. you a bunch of copies. Have a good weekend, okay. brother. You got it. See you later, buddy. Jim Bartolioni, Bart's Charts.
Okay, let's move on here to the next one here. We've got to uh, hold. How do I get back to the old program here? We've got to uh, pay a few bills coming up here in about a minute. That's a good picture, Bart. By golly, all of his Navy stuff. And uh, hold on, I've got I've got to slow down just a bit. I got to get up here to where I'm supposed to be. It means I got to get back to my. There's where we are. Let's get let's see where we are now with the old. Let's do gold next because I. We finally had a move in gold that was up. We were talking about that yesterday. Hold on just a second here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be working yet or not, but oh, it's not yet. So hold on just a second. And I just have to get up here and I go to screens, click, bada bing, bada boom. And I hope, I hope with the best of luck that, uh, oh, where is the thing here? See if it's uh, showing now. Okay, let me see. See if we got the old chart up. There's the gold. I think we're okay. Um, anyway, we got a break coming up here just now. When we get back, we're going to talk about the uh, the gold because it had a real interesting pattern yesterday, and I wanted to bring it up. We were talking about it, but we'll... If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm going to talk to you about the gold market here. Remember yesterday we were saying that this was the first indication that we're going to have a little bit of a move in gold. Uh, we were talking about the three drive to a bottom pattern that happened. There it is right there. You can see uh, another A, B, C, D pattern right in here. There's A, B, C, D, just like out of the ET book. And there's another one here, A, B, C, D right here. This is the key right here, folks. 
And remember, this is going to be happening with the S&P, too, so none of this stuff is any different. When you see a big move like this, like what we're happening, remember what we look for. You pull out the little toolbox. Yes, Johnny, I see, I see. You got your little placard up there to try to see if it gets to a 382. This one doesn't do it. It misses it by a dollar. And then away that it goes. And since that time, we have not had anything even resembling a 382. So this is why we have a big move going here. And the first thing you'd want to do now is what this is what we'll be doing Sunday night is we want to see what will happen when we get our first 382. And we will. That'll be down here at 1940. What a wonderful year to be born. Anyway, there's where you'll be looking at it right there for good support. That will be down $11. Remember, the harmonic number in gold, folks, is 32. From there to there is 32. So that's what it's doing. And so you should come down at least $11 to the 382. And you'd like to see it in you know what kind of format. And I don't know if we can do it or not. Something like that. You want to see a nice little ABCD lining up at that time. And then it gives you something to work with. I'll keep you informed about Jim's book. It's a nice picture book about all these patterns and all the beautiful uh, nuances that he's picked up through the years, uh, mostly on his loan. He gives me a little too much credit, but he has certainly worked hard. So, folks, I uh, wonder how much time we have left. We've only got 30 seconds left, so give me a little vacation here and uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 